guys how is everybody doing it's been a minute since we sit down and talk you guys already know it's grandma so it's kitchen talk time so let's just hop into it it's been a lot that has been going on for the last i say two weeks for the last two weeks there's a lot of stuff been happening some of the tough topics i'm just gonna hit it and keep moving i'm not gonna get too deep into it because i ain't trying to get a whole lot of negativity going on or anything like that. I just want to touch base on some of the things that's been happening since the last time you and I, um, we talked, okay? Uh, there's been some depth in the entertainment world since the last time we talked. Uh, Richard Simmons, you know, the health guru, you know, he was very popular back in the 80s, I believe, like maybe 70s and 80s, he was very popular in exercising you know he told about his journey and his story growing up as an obese kid and that made him to want to really focus on help he uh passed away uh dr ruth we all remember dr ruth she was the sex therapist that was very open about sex when it came to sex and she didn't really care how anybody took it so she passed away um shannon Dari. Um, she passed away. She had been dealing, she's an actress. She had been dealing with breast cancer for years and had went through the process many times and had went into remission and fought and fought and fought, but she, um, lost her battle with cancer. She passed away. And then, uh, I know you guys probably seen it on my TikTok, but, uh, Kiki from Love and Marriage Huntsville she passed away very you know um shocking news when i heard about her because i hadn't heard you know being in huntsville i hadn't heard anything about any type of issues she was dealing with or anything and i still don't really know what she passed away of course on social media there has been all type of things thrown out there you know but you you got to take what you read on social media with a grain of salt because you know it, it it definitely gets exaggerated and and get you know pull a lot of portions from every different side so i don't really know what happened to her but that was that was tragic the news hearing about her she's a young girl um she was like 41 she married i believe she has four kids but she's married with kids you know she lives here in Huntsville. Uh, I think she had been here for years, came here to go to go up to Alabama A&M, and she's appeared on Love and Marriage um, on several episodes. And, of course, you know, it's just so much negativity that was coming uh, towards her. And even between the families, it was so much negativity going on between the families, and it all was kind of playing out there on social media. You know, and I've said it before, but sometimes some things should not be put on social media because it's, it's once it's out there you know you can't take it back even if you go back and delete whatever comment or post you may have put out there it's out once it hit it it's out there and it was really sad reading about some of the stuff that uh was being said amongst the family uh of course we're on the outside looking in so we don't know we do know from watching the show that kiki and her cousin leticia had had some issues back and forward family issues that was going on and that some of that I thought was being put out there to make the ratings go up on the show. I don't know. I just know when it comes to death, you know, is it can it can either destroy the family even more or it can pull them together and make them even stronger. So I don't know how the outcome of all that's going on, but of course rest in peace to all of them. Everyone Every family that's dealing with a past of a loved one, um, you know, rest in peace um, to the to the, the person that passed. In my condolence and prayer for strength and guidance uh, to the family members that still having to go through this. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Oh my God. Like I said, now this is one topic I'm not going to stay on too long, but we all saw it. It was national news, international news. The attempt. Um, murder of Donald Trump. He was having, he was at one of his convention doing his speech in like five or six minutes into his speech. Um, a, a guy tried to, a young guy tried to kill him 
And of course, there was very high security anyway. I don't know how any of this happened. They still doing the investigation and they're still trying to figure out how this, this young man was able to get to where he was and even had the opportunity to, to attempt this. Um, Donald Trump uh, was injured and he's okay. But doing all that, uh, there was a young man that lost his life and there was two other people injured and um you know had to uh, had to uh, get medical attention i think they're doing the two that was injured and i think they're doing better now uh i really feel bad for the family that um the husband that passed away he was there with his family and i even feel bad for Donald Trump i mean no one should you know life should be threatened like that or should be, you know, taken away in that manner, regardless of how I feel about him when it comes to his political views, he's still a human being. And I think this world needs to really think about the direction that it's going in and really, you know, try to put as much as that negativity to the side. I understand it's a race going on for one of the highest, well, the highest position in the United States. You know, being president is the highest position there is. And I understand you have to really uh, be aggressive when you're out there debating and doing what you're doing to get to this position. But I feel that some of the negativity that comes with, with those different platforms, um, you have to, you need to just get rid of. You need to just get rid of because there are so many people out in this world, so many people, millions of people, billions of people in the United States and everyone has their point of view. Everyone has uh, their opinion on things and when it comes to politics and religion, we all know people get really crazy. You know, I, that's why I, I try to stay away from those topics I, because people, you cannot have a discussion about those two topics and it doesn't, the heat doesn't rise. People get really I mean, it goes to, to it goes from from zero to three hundred in, in in seconds. So you have to really be careful when you're talking about that. Um, like I said, I, I I don't wish anything like that on anyone. I don't I don't wish it on on uh, Donald Trump, or Biden, uh, Kamala um, uh, Kamala Harris, or uh, any of the political people that has had threats on their lives, whether they're in the House of Representatives, the senators, whoever, you know, it, it, it's just, um, it's just nonsense. It's, 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 it's a waste of, of anyone thinking to, to do that and to feel like it's okay to, um, to do that, to, to threaten someone's life or attempt to take someone's life. Uh, the young man that did uh, do this, uh, of course, he, he was killed by Secret Service uh, snipers or whatever they want to call them. He he was killed by them. And, you know, he was from that area, you know, within, I think, a, a few a hundred miles or 50 miles or something like that. It got to be so much that I kind of toned it out and stopped watching it because it was too much negativity being fed into it. So I just kind of, you know, had to, had to get away from that. This young man did lose his life also. And I guess when you're going into those type of situations, you are prepared to lose your life. You know, you, you may not come out of it, okay? And so now I know his family is having to deal with that and, and having to be tightly investigated and in, in, in all their life is, is about to be put out there. They're having to deal with, with the consequences of what they're family member chose to do so now they're here to deal with the backlash of it and the consequences of it so you know it's a it's a no 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 a no i mean no, definitely not a no no win situation but it's just a no um no good situation to be in because of someone's action someone else's actions and of course they're going to feel the way they feel because you know he this this young man did this and he also lost his life and so they they they're going through those emotional also so you know this is still a loved one that they cared about also so it's just a lot it's just so much that's been going on in this world oh man i tell you i just um 
I just pray daily that, um, you know, everything just kind of gets somewhat back to normal. You know, hopefully when this election is over with, we got a few more months to go. Uh, the election, you know, November the 4th, I believe, November the 4th, you know, we'll be done with that. We'll be done and, and, and however it plays out, then it is what it is. And that's just something that we all as a country will have to deal with for the next four years. Hopefully it, it, it mellows out and, and, and it's something that we can get through regardless of which party um, is going to be taken over at, that, at, at the beginning of the new year. You know, we have to wait and see how that worked out. But I think that, um, I think people need to really sit back and, and just over, like I said, over the last two weeks, just kind of look at the direction that everything is going and every, the way everything is happening. I mean, the bottom line, we're all human. We're all human beings. We all should be treated as that with the, with the, with the same respect as your fellow man. We all should be treated with that same respect. And, um... Just really, you know, pray about it. Pray about these different things that's going on in the world because not only is our country dealing with all this other stuff, other countries are looking at us. You know, we're supposed to be the greatest country in the world to live in, the, 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 the best opportunities in the world you sh you're supposed to get here in the United States. And there are some times when it's just not looking like that. And it's just not... Uh, it's not looking the way that that it should be looking you know but that's all i gotta say about that you know you guys seen it you guys got your opinion i just wanted to throw out there what's been going on since the last time you and i talked uh that's it i don't really have a whole lot going on today i uh, hope everybody's staying cool everybody's staying hydrated it is still extremely hot i mean we've had uh, with this climate change and all this kind of stuff, we've had people getting bit and all this kind of stuff with with sharks when they're trying to go to the beach and enjoy that. So be extra careful if you're doing that. We've had several babies, babies that has lost their life in the pools. Uh, you know, you got to really pay attention to your babies if you're taking them to the pool to cool off. Make sure you, your eyes are on them. The whole time, you know, even if they're they're good little swimmers, you know, make sure you're, you're really paying attention to that. You know, it's been a lot of that going on lately. So, you know, make sure you're not leaving your babies in the car or anything like that. Just just really pay attention to everything because it's so hot out here and there's so much going on in this world. We don't need any extra stress put on us or anything like that we want i want everyone to enjoy their summer and get out there and, and really enjoy it and make those memories but just just really pay attention to everything that's going on around you especially you know your babies make sure you spend uh paying special attention to them and you 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 know you're focusing on them regardless i don't care if you're going to the store i don't care if you're taking them to the pool whatever it is just really focus on them and make sure you're keeping them hydrated okay all right, guys, Grandma's about to get out of here, and I'm going to talk to you guys next time around.